Okay, um, today's lesson is on logarithmic functions. So this is just the basics of logarithms, but it's important for you to know that if you don't get the basics, the rest of this is going to be quite confusing for you. Um, in these questions, I do not want you to use a calculator. It's really important. We're starting with just basic numbers, so you're going to have a good instinct as to what the answer would be, but I don't want you to use a calculator. I want you to show all of your work steps just as I'm doing them here. Okay. Um, basically what we have is we've been studying exponential functions, uh, which take this form, y equals base b to the x. Now again, b is your number. Now, sometimes we want to solve for the, for the x. We want to solve for the exponent. And when we need to do that, um, we need to use a different notation. Now. It, there's basically no way to do this in the old way when you tried to solve, try to switch equations and solve. Um, there is no function, there's no square root, there's no adding or subtracting, there's nothing you can do to actually get you to solve for x. So uh, a French mathematician created a new uh, notation and it's this word right here, log. So basically if you want to change from exponential to logarithmic form, the exponent is what you solve for, that's on the left. Then you write the word log. The base is a subscript. It's slightly below the line of script right here, and it's a little smaller than normal. And then this is what you're taking the log of. So what used to be your solved value is now the argument. So you can see that this and look this look pretty much the same. So if we want to write this in exponential form, um, this 25 would go in the solution position. The base is b, so that would go here. And um, our x value that used to be here is now up here, so that's 2. So this is that same equation in exponential form. Okay, how about this one? Well, we're solving for the argument, so that's w. Base is 7, and this is our power, 3. Okay, or this one. The base is 4, the exponent's going to be d, so this argument right here, that's the part that you're taking the log of, this number 26, is what we're solving for now. So 26 equals 4 to the d power. So practicing this, um, and it might take some practice, um, is really, really, really important. Not only going from logarithmic to exponential form, but back again. So if I want to say that I'm solving for the exponent now, Okay, this would be y equals log base e of 33. Or this one is, um, again, we're solving for the exponent, so that would be 3 equals log base b of 27. Or this one would be 5 equals log base 2 of h. Okay. So that may, again, that may take some practice. There's going to be several in the assignment. Okay. So what would number 7 be? We're writing um, this expression in logarithmic form. Log, now the base is 3. This is our base and this is our exponent. So the base has to be 3. So this one's out. That has a base of 7. Um, log base 3 of, whatever your answer is over here, of 7 equals your exponent, x plus 2. So if you correctly guessed that that was the answer, you're right. Um, okay. Um, evaluate. So how do we evaluate things? Basically we're figuring out what this is as a number. So here's how I always do it. I always start by having three parts. It's really important to have a base, an answer, and an argument all to work with because as you've noticed we have three components. One, two, three. A base, an exponent, and an answer. A base, an exponent, and an argument. So these three things have to be there in order for us to exchange things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write this equal to a question mark and that's going to be a symbol just like x. So if I rewrote this in exponential form it would be 2, there's your base, raised to what power 
equals 16. Well, 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8, times 2 is 16. So the answer is 2 to the 4th, or 4. So again, I would set this equal to a question mark. So if I unravel this, this is our base, 36, raised to what power equals 6? Well, this is a little bit more complicated because clearly we don't know exactly what it is. It's not a 2 or a 3 or a 4 or a 5. It's not a whole number. So how do we do that? Well, basically, if you take the square root of 36, you get 6, right? So what would the square root be as an exponent? Maybe you remember this, maybe you don't. It's 1 half. So the answer is 1 half. Okay, again, the first thing I do here is I set it equal to a question mark. So your base is 3. To what power equals your answer here? This is your argument, 3. Well, obviously, 3 to the first equals 3. All right, now some work with properties. Properties are things that are always true. Now you can read this up here, but I tend to just kind of think of things in terms of my little question marks. So I tend to apply the same problem solving strategy to each one. Why? Because it works. I like things that are simple. I don't have to remember how to do it different ways. So I, you can use this strategy up here, that's fine. Or you can use my strategy of just continuing to set a logarithm equal to a question mark. So basically this is nine raised to what power equals this number here, nine. Answer one or in this case, eight raised to what power equals this number here, one? Well, it would be zero, because anything raised to the zero power is one. And our last page. Inverse properties of logarithms. Well, these are some properties you can read. I tend to like my set of strategies, uh, one of which is the one I've been showing you today. I set it equal to a question mark. So here's my base. This whole thing right here is my argument. So I'm gonna put that in parentheses so it, you see that that's one whole piece. So base seven to what power equals this whole answer, seven to the eighth? Well, obviously the answer is eight. That's eight. Or here, if I set this equal to an exponent, we're actually going back the other way. We're actually gonna write this in logarithmic form. This is our exponent right here, okay? So, how would I rewrite that? Well, it would be um, log base three of what equals your exponent. So, log base three of 17. So if you look and see what you're missing, whoops, there we go. Obviously, the answer is 17.